Hi everyone, Joy here at the Gardener Center. Sean is currently on vacation, so I figured this week I would steal the spotlight from him. And I'm gonna discuss some houseplant pests and how to treat them, so stick around. Let's start off with talking about brown soft scale. They actually look like little brown barnacles, as you can see in this picture here. And as young as little nymphs, what they'll do is they have these little piercing little, little mouths and they stick themselves onto the underside of the leaf or the leaf stem and they stay stationary. And as they mature, they get this, this, this hard armor. It's like, it looks like a little barnacle and they sit there and they just suck the sap out of the plant and as they do they secrete this sugary honeydew substance so if you've ever had a scale infestation you'll notice that the underleaf so they're under here the leaf under there gets this really sticky residue on it or even your hard top surfaces, if it's really, really bad infestation, like your countertops or your hardwood floors will have a really sticky residue on there, which is, I can't, ugh. but I'm gonna tell you how to take care of that. So for the scale, you're gonna to wanna to use the horticultural oil. The horticultural oil will be a suffocant because you want to basically suffocate them and get through that armor. Their life cycle is about two months, believe it or not. So you are going to have to do at least a six to eight week treatment for them. This is once every seven to 10 days. You're gonna give a thorough spray up, down, all around. Don't worry about the soil, just the top leaf and the under leaf if you could. And you're gonna do this once every seven to 10 days for probably about six to eight weeks. You will see some of their exoskeletons will probably still be on the leaves. Most likely they're dead. You can just take a moist paper towel and wipe them right off. And that should take care of your scale. So next we're gonna talk about mealybugs and come back for that. Okay, let's get on to mealybugs. So one of our customers was so nice, nice of them to bring in this beautiful sample of a mealybug infestation on their cat palm. And I have a kind of love-hate relationship with mealybugs just because they're actually really cool looking. They look super prehistoric and it's just unbelievable. But I also don't like them because they kind of suck the life out of every, you know, your plant, which we don't want that to happen. So the thing about mealies is, believe it or not, the female is the only one, not the male, it's only the female that does the, the sap sucking or, or, you know, does the sucking out of the plant. And as the females mature, what they do is they secrete this waxy like layer for protection for them to lay their eggs in there. And what it looks like is, it kind of looks like a little tuft of cotton. So if you're ever wondering, God, what is, you know, what is this on my, you know, my ponytail palm, these little tufts of cotton, that's a, probably a mealybug. And what she's done is she's protecting her eggs in that little tuft. And how you're gonna treat those guys is, I suggest before you use an insecticide or neem oil, you give them a good spray down. Go out on the patio with the plant, go in the bathtub, go in the kitchen sink, and give them a good shower. Don't be afraid to get a little pressure on. The plants can handle it, so it's not some weak little you know, spray. The plants can handle a little pressure, and you want to try and wash off some of that excess, which will really help fight them 
when you start using the horticultural oil or the um, insecticide. Be mindful that they like to hide in these little crevices. So they like to hide in little crevices, especially in your dracaenas or the crevice of the leaf that attaches to the bird of paradise. So just be mindful of that. Super short lifespan, only two to three weeks. You can either use the Endol insecticidal soap or the horticultural oil. Three to four weekly treatments should probably take care of them, no problem. And just keep your eye out on your plants to see if they ever come back. And now you know what to do. You do your repeat, a good shower, let your foliage dry, treat with your oil or your insecticide. And when we come back, then we'll talk about fungus gnats. All right, last but not least, we're gonna talk about fungus gnats. I don't know if any of you ever had fungus gnats, but fungus gnats are super annoying. Actually, harmless to the plant, believe it or not, but super annoying to us humans. Not to be confused with a fruit fly. So fungus gnats are little black flying gnats. Fruit flies are more brownish reddish. So that old school trick about fruit flies, like, you know, you can catch them with apple cider vinegar, not gonna work on a fungus gnat. They don't care about it. They don't wanna have anything to do with it. Fungus gnats like to feed on fungus, hence the name fungus gnats. And they usually arrive when your house plant soil is heavily saturated consistently. The female will actually lay her eggs in the top two inches of the soil and the little white worm larvae are just having a good old time in there and every time you pour water on that plant you're literally giving them their life blood and they're just having a party in there. So the way to handle this is first off you're gonna get some sticky traps because you want to catch the adults so they stop laying eggs. Super easy, they're little, little strips of yellow sticky, um, sticky cards and they come with little sticks in here so you stick the card on, you stick, put the little sticky on the stick, you stick it into the soil, this will take care of the adults. Now, you want to kill the larvae who is down in, two inches down there in the soil. You can even dig down a little bit and see if you can see them. Again, they're really, really tiny, but if you take a minute and focus, you'll be able to see them all running around and they're having a little party. The way to take care of the larva is mosquito bits. Um, you can pour a layer of mosquito bits on the top layer of the soil, scratch it a little bit, and then water it in and this activates the mosquito bits which will dehydrate the larva which is exactly what we want to do because they've been living off that moist fungusy soil for for a while now and this is going to dehydrate them um, directions on the back also say you can actually mix the bits with water and then use that water to water. So whichever way you wanna do it will work out fine for you. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. I also suggest if you have a bad infestation, you can bottom water for a little while. So this way you're not feeding them every time you pour water on the top. You can bottom water your plants. Some plants actually prefer to be on the dry side in between watering so you can let the th soil thoroughly dry. If none of this is working for you and you're still having issues, your last resort is to completely change out your soil, which will take care of the problem also. But that's about it for the fungus gnats. And they're, like I said, they're most annoying. They, they're harmless to the plant, but they're all up in your face when you're trying to talk to somebody and you're constantly doing one of these. And it's just, they're just pests, terrible pests. And that's all I have for houseplant pests today. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you next week. Bye.